guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is well basically everything got ruined because of this coronavirus basically last weekend i was meant to go to Edinburgh in london and then this coming weekend i'm meant to be going to patch topping at mint in leeds but both have cancelled i was going to do a kind of like two looks two vlogs in one and i was really excited for that but obviously with everything being cancelled like literally now like class and has been cancelled we are has been postponed it's my birthday weekend though so and i've got free tickets for that so i'm fast better birthday for me where i don't even have to spend any money love that but i still wanted to kind of recreate the looks that i was planning because like i love planning outfits and looks for festivals and raves and i just thought given everything that's happening i might as well just recreate them anyway from what was going on in my head so this is look one and this is look two so if you want to see how i've managed to create both these looks makeup hair outfit then please keep watching. Yay! Hello. Oh my God, I had my eyelashes taken. Well, I took my eyelashes off today after far too long and I literally feel like such a rat. But doing makeup and eyeshadow and particularly without lashes on is so much easier. Anyway, we are going to be doing kind of for this first look. So as you've seen the outfit, it's like all black. So I still wanted to keep the eye quite simple, but then I'm going to do like a pop of like blue in the inner corner. You'll see, obviously, hopefully it all comes together. So I'm going to be using this palette, which is the BH Cosmetics Santa Fe palette. As you can see, whoa, as you can see, it's kind of like lots of browns and I want to kind of layer the browns. So, well, you'll see what I do. Now I'm going to take this shade here, Adobe, Adobe. If, if I, I'm so dyslexic, I literally can't even read that. Adobe, I think, on just like a fluffy brush. It's just a Spectrum 606. And I'm just going to really put that just, you can see it better in real life. I'm just gonna put this above the crease and really pack it on just to get a really good like foundation. So that's a really nice kind of sandy color just to, you know, the first transitional shade. And then I'm gonna, on a slightly fluffier brush, Spectrum C06, I'm gonna take a dark shade. I think I'm gonna do this one, which Tacita, so this darker one here. And I'm just going to put that obviously below just to give it some more depth. Obviously, I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't know really what I'm talking about. But, you know, I've watched enough YouTube videos in my life to kind of pick, pick tips up. And I feel like using like a fluffier, denser, is it fluffier? A denser brush just helps to keep the darker colors darker and then you can like go over with the brush from before in the lighter color to make it transition seamlessly i am focusing kind of on the outside as well because i'm going to be doing winged eyeliner a nice wing so i want it to kind of be brought out and i don't put any new product kind of in the middle just because that's just not it's not what the look we're going for really fine if you're doing a halo eye but oh yeah i'm gonna cut the crease by the way scary right so i've kind of blended those together now i was looking in this palette which it really smells so nice you know like the Too faced chocolate palettes it smells literally like that it's really nice mm. anyway it doesn't really have kind of shade of darker brown that i want for this the only one i have has got a bit of a green tinge and that's just not what i want to do so i'm going to use the revolution rachel leary palette and i'm going to use sweet sweet like so this one here on this brush is dirty wow they're all spectrum brushes and the b04 so it's like a slanty one and i'm just gonna pat that into the, more of the corner but i'm gonna kind kind you'll see i'll kind of bring it around we'll see what, what i'm trying to do anyway Okay, so that's all like kind of blended together. Don't worry about this bit because we're about to cut the crease. So I'm just using what I used to like set my eyes. So it's just the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. So I'm scared to do this. I really hope it works. So what I just use is a flat synthetic brush. This is vile because I've already used it. And what I do is I kind of just put a tiny bit 
just like there and then you can just like look up and that just kind of gives you like you see that tiny bit there just gives you like a little bit of a guideline as where you can go to I just press it on and I feel like if you use quite a lot of the product well, I was like, what I've been, it gives it a good coverage so don't be scared you just do the other side and I find with that don't drag just literally just like gently pat otherwise that's when it like messes up I've got a mirror down here by the way that's what you're balancing on actually so that's done now we're going to set this so the kind of look i'm going for is like similar to this and then building back up this color on the cut crease you'll see what i mean so back into this palette i'm gonna take june so this little guy here and i'm just gonna take it on this bh cosmetics just kind of flat but not like it's a bit fluffier than the other one and i'm just gonna pat that on more of the like inner part so kind of leave the outside because we'll get to her okay that's done this color is a little bit more darker than i would have liked but yeah i would have liked it more of a like really lighter kind of nude because it looks a lot lighter in the pan but whatever so now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take the colours from earlier, like here, and I want to just kind of build them up, kind of, you'll see. So the way I'm going to do this is, the brushes from earlier for now are just too big, so I'm just going to take this Real Techniques little one and use that lighter shade, and I'm just going to press it to like here. And you just want to kind of like bring it down in a triangle. And I'm using this, it's a still a fluffy one because I just really feel like that really didn't do much, which is annoying, but whatever. Um, I'm using that slightly darker shade on this. Just kind of going over, but a little bit lower than the other shade. And like joining it up to the darker bits there, just so it's more seamless. You can't see that little gap. Mm. Anyway, it's not exactly how I wanted it to be, but we're going to make it work anyway. Now back to this palette, and I'm just on this, you know, those brushes that come in the Anastasia palettes, like I'm just using the kind of short end of that in the sweet like shade and really putting this close-ish to the lash line, but not too close because I'm still going to have a liner, so you still want to see it above the liner. Then we're just quickly going to just go over this kind of top bit with all the colours that we've used on our original brushes just so it's a little bit more seamless up there. I always find one of my eyes comes out way better than the other in this cut crease is still there. So as you can see they're like similar colours but there is that like difference so it's not like a pff, whoa drag queen cut crease but it's still like a nice a nice difference you know. But that's done. Oh my god so from where I've been putting that dark, it's like gone down to my lower lash line. But like, I actually really like how that looks. So that's cool. Right, now we're going to do liner. So wish us all luck. Using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I can't talk while I do this, but you'll just kind of see what I do. Because I've had lashes on. I haven't done liner in like nearly two months. So I feel like I forgot how to do it. But then again, when you kind of do it, you like feel like you know what you're doing. Anyway, back to it. Now we are just going to put some mascara on. Wow, there's literally none of this yet. That's literally dry. That's nice. Can I go to Super Drug to get another one though? That is the question. Oh, probably not allowed, but we'll see. She don't think any went on there, but it's fine because we are wearing lashes. So I've kept the eyes quite matte for now because obviously I said we're gonna add the shimmer, but I'm just gonna do the face first. Um also do we like these clips? They're just from Primark from the Andrew Fitzsimmons like hair thing. I thought they're really cute and they don't leave marks. Not that it matters because I put my hair up, but anyway. So I think I'm just gonna time lapse my face makeup because you see me do that before, and I'll come back when that's all done. <laughs> Allons 
face is done so i've just put some glue on these lashes and they're just gonna kind of dry i ran out of my duo or like broke or something just before i got my extensions done so I, all i have is this one that i picked up in thailand so hopefully that's not gonna kill me and rip my eyes out right so i'm just gonna go in with the colors from earlier and just put them under my eye i don't want too much but just a little bit of definition so back with this on the same brush as i used and then the darker colour from the Rachel palette. And just blend those together. Come on. I just had to test on my hand. This is what I want my like inner corners to look like. So I just had to test it just in case it didn't look like that. I guess I'm happy with it, so it's fine. So using from this palette shade Rio Grande. So this like it looks so dark there, but it's like not that dark in real life. On just a pencil brush, it's just a Zoeva. 230 so i'm just gonna put this not loads just a little bit in my inner corner okay cool and then using this nyx multitasker this stuff is so so good honestly would 10 out of 10 would recommend just a tiny bit of that on your finger if you can reach just dab it in there you don't need much like i can use both both eyes that one little bit I might need to go over one because it does dry. See, already that gives just a nice pop. But, but, using this Peaches and Cream Loose Eyeshadow in Mermaids. Oh, this is such a good, versatile, loose pigment, whatever. I put this, when I went to Park Life, I put this over my black liner and it looked so cool. Over black. But this, just over this blue, is really going to emphasise blue pigments in, in Mermaids. Ooh. right lashes and i'll be back can confirm that was quite possibly the worst lash glue i've ever used i've chucked it straight in the bin thankfully my mum had a spare thank god she started wearing lashes right okay that's done lips and then face is done this is gonna be such a good video i'm using ColourPop 951 I literally swear by this Then using the MAC Viva Glam 3, love this one, just in the middle. Doesn't matter if it's not neat because Fenty Glass, only a mini, honestly, might buy the bigger one when this is done because she does wonders. And she smells so good, right. Give my face a spritz, the Morphe James Charles thing. I think mine's like not lined up right because it just comes out really weirdly. And it smells so sickly. I don't like sweet smells. Hair time. So I put my top on that I'm going to be wearing for this outfit. Just so nothing gets ruined along the way. So let's give the hair a brush. I did put down. But it's like washed off already. So sorry about it. Right. So I'm going to be doing a ponytail. I'm going to be using a ponytail. So this is just a Lula Bells one. It's the Ariana Grande style. I literally got it to see Ariana Grande because I wanted to look like her. But it was so long, I was like, I literally can't wear this again. So I cut it myself. Probably it's gonna look awful, but whatever. So I'm gonna do a high snatched ponytail. I'm gonna have to go around this situation with makeup afterwards, but that's fine. Um, if I was actually going out, then I'd probably put some of this L'Oreal braid stuff in my hair just to give it some like stick. Um, and grip instead of using hairspray because I really don't like hairspray. Which reminds me of like dance competitions. So this is how the pony comes. Like I've had my hair done so it doesn't really match it anymore. But to be honest, when you can't see this bit of the hair anyway. Um, so it's got these like clips here. So what I just do is make sure that's tight and I just Put the clips in under the hairband and then just kind of wrap it around make sure it's really tight there we go i'm just gonna clip it just pin it in i did find that when i wore this like to ari it did kind of slip quite a lot but when my sister bought borrowed it um I proper gripped it in her hair and it didn't move all day, so. Okay, I'm just gonna sort this makeup up now because. Okay, so this is the look. So I've got, can't really see. God, they're creaky. 
got this top which is from you look um i love the puffy sleeves it is a longer top but i just rolled it up to make it the crop top and then these vinyl cycle shorts are from a co-op set from opoly they're actually so comfy like on the inside they're kind of fleecy and they're cute and then i've just got my trusty asos attitude boots and then this just little padlock is from a pretty little thing so this is this look um i'm really happy with it i kind of dress my looks for the kind of event i'm going to so this look was obviously meant to be for adam bayer and he's um he does drum coats so quite deep techno and i always feel like black is kind of like the good color for that that's why i am in an all black like a bit of dominatrix vibes and the vinyl and the padlock um I really love how it all comes together. Obviously the eyes have been quite simple and then just that pop of blue in the middle. I feel like it really just makes everything look all cute and put together. I'd also probably wear it with sunglasses and a bum bag. I will show you. So this bum bag, which I think it's meant to go kind of cross body. Um, I just punched a hole in it to be able to put it around my waist. It's from Primark and I love it because it's got this kind of detail here. So like matchy matchy um, and it's big, lots of pockets. So you don't lose your stuff if you go in your bag. And then these glasses completely never wear them like this because I can't see. Um, defeat the point, but you know, I make them look cute. Um, I just, she sins, I think. Um, I love them. I literally wear them all the time. They're just so sassy. So yeah, this is the overall look one. We are back. I've kept my face makeup on, but I'm just going to redo the eyes and obviously going to do my hair for look two. Right, so I've, my outfit, I'm wearing black trousers, as you'll see, and I've got a pink, but like a darkish pink top. So I kind of want to do the eyes to match that. So I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty Neon Orange palette. It's lovely with all these colours. So basically what my idea is, is I'm going to... this pinky one here they don't have names it's a bit annoying i'm going to kind of do it in the crease pack this on the lid and then sparkle which will look cute so i think what i'm going to do first is pack this color on the lid you're using this just spectrum but it's just like a flat brush similar to that one i used earlier oh okay Whew, i was not expecting that i've literally not used this palette before i got it skiing if you saw that video wow right okay I'm actually quite in shock, like what the hell? Having learnt from this shocking colour payoff, wow. Don't use much and what you do, use lower down and then kind of when you run it out more, go high, but don't quite reach the crease. Do the other eye. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like a highlighter. I'm using um, my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I'm just gonna take this pink shade down here. Not much, cause she's pigmented and then just kind of blending above just so it's more seamless so as you can kind of see it's all nice and blended but um it's kind of taken some of the color so from the first really bright side so i'm just going to kind of go back over that just so that darker brighter pink is still very prominent so now i want to take this pink shade like the shimmery one there i'm going to use this zoeva 233 cream shade brush i'm not sure if this is going to need to be sprayed with setting spray first so we'll give it a go without um and if not then yeah i think we'll need to use something that's not really picking up that well but that's so much better i still feel like that's not enough so i'm just going to go in with my finger because sometimes i find huda beauty shades work better when you put them on with your finger because like the heat from your body just kind of melts it in better yes like that Ooh, cute now i'm going back in with some of that eyeliner so again the kat von d tattoo liner i wanted this look to be so like simple i mean obviously like it's a bright color so it's not simple but like the steps to putting it on is so simple i do it off camera because you see me do this already and now i'm going to put some lashes on so i'm going to use these dot beauty ones they're the frankie style and hopefully they don't mess up like the last ones i literally think that glue ruined those lashes which is so annoying but at the same time they were only five pounds from primark so 
I'm actually having the worst laugh of lashes today. Like I just spilled that glue everywhere and just had to clean it up off myself, off the floor, off everything. But anyway, these lashes are on. So we are going to do just the bottom lash line. So I want this to be a bit of a contrast as well. So quite a dark lash line. So I'm gonna have to go back to one of the palettes that I used earlier, um, the Rachel Revolution one. Using the shade Sweet Like, so just one here on this Anastasia brush again. This is just literally, I just use this brush for the lower lash line. Just so you can see that. So much easier. So I'll try and keep it more on the outside. And then I'm just gonna highlight the inner corners and under my brows again. So I'm just using the sleep palette. Um just mixing these two bottom ones together on this brush again. So I've just done some mascara on the bottom, so the eyes are done. Now onto the lips. This is a ColourPop BFF liner this is a really like natural one that matches my lip color like perfectly but also gives it a bit more of a you know and i'm just going to be using the kylie gloss in the snatched stuff smells so sweet so that's done so i'm going to do my hair now so for the hair i'm wanting to do kind of like beachy waves so i have this waver i literally got it when i was 16 for like 20 dollars. like it's got the american plug so i just had a right May I trying to find my adapter it, it's not the best i want to get a new one but i don't have any money so you know it works all right it will do for now and those annoying ones because the plug always comes out and i have to have it really hot so it's not the best for your hair but we'll work with it i'm just gonna spritz my hair hate defense spray this is just an l net one flash through and then this is better to do in sections so i'm just gonna take a section just above my ear this eye makeup looks really nice with this really boring grey top this doesn't tell you when it's ready so we've just got to guess but she feels hot from touching from a distance so one good thing about this you can use quite wide sections okay so i take my section just put it on and i just hold for like 10 seconds and try and like flatten this out here we go you can see there's a nice wave like it's a bit too put together now but once it's all done we'll deal with it I also like to take kind of varied sizes of like hair um, in sections just because it gives it a bit more of a natural-esque vibe to it. As you can see like it makes it look a little bit frizzy so this is why I definitely need to get that one of these but she'll do for now. So I've done another layer I'm um, just going to do the top so for this look I'm actually going to have it kind of up but I still like to make sure that my parting is still like how I want it. Um, so I like wear my hair in the middle parting. Try not to brush over the waves underneath because they'll just start to frizz and it's not, it's just not what we want. Because those waves are kind of like the important ones because you will see those because I'm gonna have to put this bit up. <laughs> I mean, you could just leave it here, kind of hustle it through. But when I go out, I literally hate having my hair in my face. So I always have to put some of it up. So I'm going to kind of do a half up, half down. So if I was going out now just to make sure it kind of stays, I would again put some of this L'Oreal braid stuff just kind of a little bit in my hand and kind of just through just to make it stay. Um, but obviously I'm not going out. I'm not going to do that now. And also do not use an actual brush at this point, otherwise it will frizz, so use like a comb. What I'm gonna do is take my thumb, just kind of above my ear on both sides and try and make like a straight line going up to join at the middle. And then just taking like a clear elastic, just tie this up to a ponytail. I was kind of like looking at like Molly May and she kind of has hers like this like that but i feel like i just i can't pull that off <laughs> okay so there's different things you could do here i feel like i might just wrap some hair around it but you could make it into like a little bun that could be cute but yeah what i'm gonna do is just take some hair just from underneath and just wrap it around be too high and then just get the grip because it 
that I found that that just really brings some volume. So this is going to be so hard to show because these are flares. Um, this whole outfit is she sends. They really kindly sent me this for a B for last year, and then these trousers were in the sale, so oh, I need to cut that label out. But they're so cute, and then I've just paired it again with the same padlock chain necklace from Pretty Little Thing, and this belt's also Pretty Little Thing. Um, these pants are just an absolute staple. They're ASOS bikini bottoms. Oh, I look so pale, this is ridiculous. Um, let me try and get some mirror footage just so you can kind of see it better. So as you can see, these are just the gorgeous trousers from She Sins, ignore the mess in the background. Um, just again with these boots, oh, this is so cute. And you can wear it a bit higher up if you want a little bit of boot popping out. Honestly, I love this outfit and I am going to wear these outfits again. I don't even care. So yeah, this outfit was what I was going to wear for Patrick Topping. And I feel like, cause he's, he obviously does more like house tech stuff. So he's a bit more groovy. So I wanted to add a little bit of color, a bit of sparkle. That's like the fun eyeshadow. You can see it all here put together. Um, yeah, I love this outfit so much, even though I am pale. And there we have it. Two looks, outfit, hair, makeup, two cancelled robes. Literally going to take this off now. How boring of me. But the most important thing is, obviously, is everyone's health. So hopefully, hopefully it won't last too long and we can go out and have fun again because I'm already bored. But like I said, health is more important. And if you're bored, then why don't you just binge watch these videos? That'd be nice. So as always, comment, like, subscribe, like if you're bored with coronavirus down. Okay. help me out and have a good one I'll see you next time bye